Hi, it's Channing here with the Container Guy. Today I want to show you our new product we just got in. It's a bolt-on D-ring, which allows you to install D-rings anywhere inside of 53-foot containers, which do not have them, uh, in different places along the sidewall of 20-foot and 40-foot containers. And it also, the profile allows you to install it on the end wall of 20-foot and 40-foot containers, which do not have D-rings. Previously, we would have to uh, weld these D-rings in place on the end wall of the container, which burns the paint and eventually will cause rust issues. Uh, these D-rings use a self-threading 516 hardened bolt. This bolt goes into the hollow section uh, up at the top of the container, so it does not actually penetrate through the container, which would cause water uh, issues come, going forward. The tools required for this job are, you'll need a drill with a 930 seconds drill bit, uh, an impact driver, or you could just use the same drill, and with a half inch uh, socket or impact bit. Uh, it's a good idea to center punch your holes after you mark them, and then you'll also just need a marker to mark your holes prior to drilling. So how these shelving brackets actually work is, is they hang from the D-rings up at the ceiling, and down at the base of them, they have a T-bar that installs, and that's what keeps it plumb. Once all the shelving brackets were installed in place, then you take two 2x10s, and they actually sandwich right into place, and the 2x10 drives into the nail that's welded here, and that holds it together with no screwing or nailing required. So the D-ring, the profile of it allows you to install it on sidewall corrugations and because it's trimmed short, it allows you to install it on end wall corrugations as well. I'll hold it up here and give you guys an idea how it works. So on the sidewalls, it simply slots in right here. You mark your two holes, drill them, and you're laughing. The D-ring is actually the same height as the stock D-ring. So you won't have to worry about your planks not sitting level on your shelving brackets. So most customers uh, will likely own a 20 foot or a 40 foot container. And the reason you're buying this is because you want shelving on the end wall of the container. So for that reason, I'm gonna demonstrate installing it on the end wall of a can. So to begin, you just grab your felt tip marker, hold your D-ring up in place. You might have to do some trimming of the caulking just because uh, in China they can get a little rogue on their caulking. And so you mark your two holes and then wait there. It's a good idea to center punch your holes just so your drill bit doesn't walk on you. Always make sure you're wearing safety glasses. <laughs> so now that your holes are pre-drilled, you just hold it up, screw it in. Done. So the final step is just to hang your shelving brackets in place. And don't forget, you need to put your T-bar in the back end of the shelving bracket, and that's what keeps the whole shelving plumb. So now that you have your shelving installed, uh, what's nice about these shelving brackets is they claim that there's no screwing, no bolting required. So we did have to screw and bolt um, four different holes there, but still it allowed us to put the shelving in the end wall of the container when we otherwise wouldn't. 